Hello everyone, it's Rob here from Woodward English. How is everyone? So glad to have everyone here today. Remember the same time, same day, every single week. Let's go and check out everyone's comments. First of all, if you can let me know where you are watching from. Whereabouts in the world are you watching from? Are you in South America, in Europe, in Africa? Let me know in the chat. Just so you know, if you're watching this on Twitter, if you want to, your comments to appear and everything like that, you have to come onto YouTube. People on Facebook, they can also, we're also live streaming on Facebook. We're just trying something. Um, yeah, you can also just put your comments and sometimes it'll appear. So let's have a look and see who has arrived. We have Mr. Ali from Egypt. Bring your comments, everyone. You've got another one here. I'm from Iraq, too. It's cool. Lots of, lots of interesting places. So while I'm waiting for everyone to appear, just put your, what is it? You put your, where you're watching this from around the world. So as I mentioned before, we're actually going to go live every week, hopefully every week, same day, same time, just so you know. Oh, look at this one. Hello from Argentina. It's your lead. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to show something right up the top here. Let's have a look. Look at this. You can actually become a YouTube channel member. It helps support all of the crazy things that I do live <laughs> and the videos for all of the teachers, everything like that. So thank you, Yolette, again, for continuing to be a YouTube member. We really, really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. So let's go back to these comments. Let's see where everyone's... Oh, well, here we go. Okay, so we got from New, New Jersey, USA, but I'm from Nicaragua. Cool. We have Larissa, which is, she is from Gibraltar. Thanks for your kindness and time. Good greetings. Hello to you too. No worries. That's what we're here to, to help you. We have Ganesh from, oh, no, sorry. We have Forza from Saudi Arabia. Nice. Where is everyone from? Oh, I've actually, I can't actually show these up on screen. The Woodward Love, Woodward Hearts. <laughs> if you can see, you can see them on YouTube, but unfortunately in the system that I've created, the, the, U, the YouTube channel members, they all have special emojis that they can use. If you have a look on the YouTube, you can see them in the chat, but unfortunately on screen they don't appear. So, but anyway, here we go. Oh, we've got someone else here from Morocco. Good to see you again too, Hamza. We have Ben from Peru. We have Monica from Mexico City. We have, uh, oh, okay, starting to go quickly now. <laughs> we got from Morocco, Mexico, Mexico. We got from the Philippines. We got from Thailand. We got lots of different places. Okay, today, oh, there it is, waiting for Ganesh here, also from India. So what we're going to do today is we're going, you've probably noticed that I uploaded a lot of short videos, reels, whatever you want to call them, about clothes and wearing clothes and the phrasal verb put on. You have, what else we got there? Wear, get dressed and everything like that. So today we're also going to have some, we're going to do a lesson about clothes. And you think, oh, that's easy. Are you sure? You never know what I've got coming up. We've got also AI hey, Sing from Taiwan. We also have from Vietnam, from Bangladesh, um, and Malawi. Wow, lots of fascinating places today. It is so awesome. Okay, so before we begin, I just want to show you. Let's have a look if I can do it here. Have a look at this. Now, we already have a video about um, the names of clothes in English. Okay, you can see that on our YouTube channel. I'll just quickly read through these because you probably know these. Okay, so we've got belt, blouse, boots, cap, coat, dress, gloves, hat, hoodie, jacket. I've got a hoodie on today too. 
you have a hood and you just put it over your head like that. You've got a jacket, jeans, not saying what I'm wearing down there. You've got overalls or dungarees. You know, what I've done is I've also given the names in British English and American English, okay? Just the spelling's different more than anything. Pajamas, pajamas, panties, knickers, pants, trousers, raincoat, scarf, shirt, shoes, shorts, skirts. Skirt? Yeah. Socks, suit, sweater, or jumper. You got sweatshirt and sweatpants, swimming trunks, swimsuit, tie, t-shirt, and underpants. Okay, let's go have a look. Oh, let's have a look at some more people from Venezuela. Ah, yeah. On Twitter. Ah, you commented on the post on Twitter. Okay, cool. And we have from Guatemala. Oh, we have Soledad from Chile. What part of Chile? Santiago or the south or the north? Kurdistan, Angola. Okay. So you got underpants, and this is a good question. Underpants and panties are the same. Well, in if you look at the, the top part, I've actually got for an American English, it says panties, and in British English, you say knickers. You can also say underwear, which is a generic term. And underpants is probably more for the guys, okay? And you also have boxes, but this is just a short summary about the, the parts of the clothes and everything today. Um, here's an interesting comment. Today was very hot. Yes, yeah, so you probably don't need a scarf. You don't need a sweater or a jumper when it's very, very hot. And like in Europe at the moment, it's crazy. We'll also have from Brazil. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, one second, if I can just move this along. Well, I can do. Just remember, when we have the, like, what are they wearing? That's going to be the question today. What are they wearing? Or what are you wearing? What is he wearing? You just answer with to be plus wearing. I am wearing, I've got a dark blue hoodie. I've got things down here. I've got some sweatpants. I've got some slippers. I've got slippers on right now. <laughs> he is wearing, she is wearing, we are wearing, they are wearing. Okay. Um, in your in the comments, what are you wearing right now? Just leave a comment. We'll have a look in a moment. And hey, Waganadak, good to see you again. Always appreciate your comments on our channel. Um, you also have the undergarment, undergarment. That's another possibility. Now, so we already know this. Now, I want you to say, what's this? What am I showing on the screen? This is very simple. What am I showing on the screen? What am I showing on screen? It is a, what is it? Takes a little while for the comments. <gasps> Yolit is, <laughs> I'll wait for your comments to come up here. Look at this one. I'm wearing pajamas. We use the, the plural form, okay? I'm wearing pajamas. You're wearing a blouse. I hope you're wearing some other things there. <laughs> Oh, this. Oh, I thought you were talking about what you were wearing. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is a blouse. Mm, not quite. It's a shirt. Yeah, but what type of shirt is it? Is it like a... How could you just give me a bit more information? What type of shirt is this? Rodelia, I'm wearing shorts and sandals i'm wearing shirt a shirt and pants <laughs> no <laughs> thank you catalina i appreciate it oriana i'm wearing a hoodie a hoodie and pants now everyone like even mr ali everyone's like shirt pajama shirt aha I'm wearing a white t-shirt and green trousers. That's great because we're giving more information. I'm wearing a shirt. I'm wearing trousers. No, give a bit more information. Describe. If you're wearing a polo shirt, how can you describe that polo shirt? Remember in English, we use the adjective and then you have the noun, adjective plus noun, a green shirt. You can wear an ugly shirt. That's another description. It doesn't need to be a it doesn't need to be a color. It can be a striped shirt, a ripped shirt. You know, you take it off really quickly. It's a ripped shirt. 
a green shirt. So always have the adjective and the noun together. So I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Hey, Larissa, how's it going? <laughs> I am, ah, here it is. I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt. That's brilliant. And a skirt baggy when it's like very loose. And it's like, you can, you can put another person in there sometimes. <laughs> I don't recommend trying this at home, unless you want to. I'm wearing a dress, okay? Um, oh, and also, hey, Hannah, so good to see you from Bratislava in Slovakia. Good to see you again. I know it's very, very late for you, so I appreciate you coming along today. Okay, so what we have here is... We have a picture. What are they wearing? And she is wearing something. What is she wearing? We've got number one, number two, and number three. So in the comments, I just want you to say what she is wearing. What is that? And while we're waiting, we've got old Monica. I'm wearing a pink blouse and a black skirt. Brilliant. A long time without knowing anything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, I'm now Ekter. I'm going to be live the same day, same time, every week. I'll try. Sometimes the time might change every now and then if I have a special guest from a country, from a different country, but same time every time. Okay. Every day, sorry. Every week. Okay, here's the first one. Oops. And number one. A purple shirt. Number one is a purple shirt. Exactly. What do you like my hoodie? It's one I use with my football. <laughs> when I play football, I put this one. It's like a team one. Okay, so number one was a... Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, so Yolit was the quickest, the fastest, the master of the English language. A purple shirt. What about number two? He is wearing, it's a she is wearing, or well, depends, I assume it's a she. <laughs> she is wearing green shorts. Remember, you don't use the article a uh, before shorts. I'm wearing shorts or green shorts. But those are not shorts. There's something else. What are they? Just blocked it. Um, ah, here it is, Yolid again, a green skirt, exactly, it's a green skirt, what is the difference between a skirt and a dress, can anyone say that, explain the difference between a skirt and a dress, it's a little difficult to, to write it, or to, to, if you can say it, it's probably really cool, easy to do, but typing it might be a little more difficult, but a skirt is from the waist down, from the lower, from your hips down. And a dress covers the entire body. Dana, she's wearing a purple t-shirt. Yes, it says best mum ever or something like that. A green skirt and yes, orange shoes. Look at this, complete sentences. I love this. She is wearing a purple t-shirt, green skirt, and orange flats. Could be flat. Let's have a look. Yeah, they could be flats or shoes. We don't know, actually, because it's just a generic type of shoe. But flats, that's another way of saying shoes that are flat. They don't have a heel. They don't have the back part. Well, that's, well, that's good. Try and come along every time. Always appreciate it. Um, yeah, so that one was easy. She's wearing, just going through, pink or orange. Uh, her shoes, I'm pretty sure they're orange. I'm pretty sure they're orange. Um, let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is good. She's wearing a purple t-shirt, a green skirt, and you can also say a pair of. That's great. You can say and orange shoes or a pair. A pair means two. A pair of orange shoes. Okay, but that one was really easy. Let's just go clicking through here. Uh, cream colored shoes, mm, not too sure about that one. Okay, and just want to do some things from there. Perfect. And what else we got there? Um, 
just going through, going through. And there it is, perfect. Yeah, just had to do some blocking then. Okay, so here we have purple t-shirt, a green skirt, and orange shoes. Okay, next one. Here we have another person. We've got four different things here. Now there might be a piece of, what do you call it? There might be a piece of um, clothing that is you might not know the name for. I'm looking at you, number three. Okay, one second. Can you just hear me now? Just double checking. She isn't wearing glasses. Oh, that's probably the last one. Okay, so we've got number one, number two, number three, and four. Go for it. Okay, what do we got? She, a yellow, oh, here we go, number one. A yellow t-shirt. Good. What else we got? So he is wearing a yellow t-shirt. What else we got? Ah, okay, look at this. A bow tie. Yeah, we'll get that to that in a moment. So number two is brown shoes. He is wearing brown shoes also, totally possible. And over three, here, it's a bow tie, exactly. Because you've got two types of ties. You have the tie for business, like this one. He says, like, a tie. But this the one that you wear. It's like a long, and it goes all the way down to your belly button. But we have the other one that Yolit mentioned. Is It's a bow tie when it's like this here. And it's used in quite formal situations, very formal situations. Um, like you go to a gala or something like that, and you normally wear a tuxedo or some type of, of suit. He's wearing, oh, look at this one. He's wearing a yellow shirt, a red bow tie. Great. Gray trousers. Gray trousers. Hmm. That's possible. There is also another way. Instead of gray trousers, there's another word that you can use. For example, gray pants. What is the difference between the gray pants and the gray trousers? What's the difference? Let's have a look. Um, here. And whoops, just hide that one. Gray trousers, those are used in British English, trousers. But in the United States, in America, you have pants. You can say trousers or pants. And also be careful of the spelling of gray. Well, you don't have to be careful, but if you want to stay to either British English or American English, if it's British English, grey, that's why I chose that colour, is for the United Kingdom. And grey with an A is used in the United States. When you're saying it, you say it exactly the same. It's just when you're writing, be careful. So you've got grey trousers and grey pants, a yellow shirt, and also a red bow tie. It's two words, not one word, just so you know, okay? And everyone else has got that one white, right? She's wearing yellow t-shirt and gray pants. Exactly. She's wearing a shirt and trousers. Always try and give more information about, for example, colors or style. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Let's have a look. Um, this one here. <gasps> okay. This one here is... He is wearing, what is he wearing? It's been a minute. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, good to see you again. This must be really late where you are. So what is what is this person? You, you may notice some of the, ter the terrible jokes down the bottom there. <laughs> I'll wait for it to come. An ice cap. Ah, almost. For example, my clothes were having a competition to decide which one was the coolest. It ended up being a tie. Oh, God, that's so terrible. Um, 
Okay, look at this one here. My dear teacher, American people say pants, pants. They drop the middle consonant T. Sometimes it depends because in the United States, it's a huge country and there are so many different variations of the language, of the, of the, of the pronunciation. Depends on the person, okay? So yeah, it all depends on where. So let's go up, go up here, hide that one here. Ooh, look at this. So what is number one? Number one, he is wearing what? Let me see if someone has it. What is number one? Yellow skin. You got some of the other things? Okay. You could probably say, yeah, it's a brown hat. It's a type of woolen hat, maybe. I'll just say a brown hat. Yeah. Brown woolen hat. For example, Larissa also mentioned he's wearing a brown hat. A yellow scarf. Okay, so you've got the yellow scarf around your neck. Everyone in Europe, they're using this type of clothes or wearing this type of clothes, sorry. I don't think so. <laughs> we also have the... What else is there? Um, yellow scarf, blue pants, green coat. And is that a coat or it's something else? What is it? No! I'm trying to block the user. Okay. So he's wearing a brown hat, yellow scarf, blue hair, green coat, and... Oops, sorry. Here it is. Red shoes. He's wearing brown hat, yellow scarf, blue pants, green coat, and red shoes. Okay? What else we got there? Can you try and unblock those people, please? They're probably on. Okay. Okay. Um, ah, that, that explains it. Um, so we've got the, what else we got there? It must be really early where I am. It is currently one o'clock in the afternoon in New Zealand. Remember, I am doing it from New Zealand. This is Auckland, my city, the largest city in the in New Zealand, but it's not the capital city. Anyone know what the capital of New Zealand is? Just so you know. Uh, let me have a look here. So going back here. No, we don't want that one. We want this one here. Um, he's wearing a green jacket. Thanks a lot. Yellow scarf. Brown bonnet. Now, a bonnet is normally like a, a wide rim hat. And it's usually ladies wear it. Sometimes there are flowers on it. It's like very wide. That's a bonnet. And with double N also. Okay, he also got a hat. He's wearing a red, uh, red shoes, brown. Ah, here it is. Um, he's wearing a that one here, bonnet. Yeah, so bonnet is something completely different. It's like a very light hat, especially for summer to protect you from the from the sun. Yeah, bonnet with double with a double N. Wearing a green, a winter jumper. A winter jumper. Hmm, it's the same thing that I'm wearing right now. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a hoodie, okay? I am wearing a hoodie. Ah, here it is. That's a hoodie. There it is. That is a hoodie. That's what we're waiting for. And what color is it? It's a green hooding, hoodie. Remember, he is wearing gray pants with an S there. Yep, that is a yellow scarf. Now, we got red sneakers or red shoes, or red trainers. There are different ways of saying this, okay? There are many different ways of saying this. For example, here you've got red sneakers. You also have red trainers. You can also say a pair of red sneakers because you have two of them also. <laughs> Nobody wears the warm hats in Gibraltar because of the climate, yeah. Winters are not cold here. Interesting, thank you for sharing. Um, gray pants. Ah, here it is. Juan Ignacio Gonzalez, Wellington. The prize is being sent to your address. <laughs> How do you know where I live? I don't know. Internet knows everything. Okay, here we go. Look at this one. He's wearing a brown hat, a yellow scarf, green hoodie, but I know how to say shoes in British English. I think in British English, let's see if I've actually created it. Here it is. I put red sneakers, okay? I will say sneakers, 
But I think, I think in British English, they use more trainers. Yeah, shoes are just very generic. But if they're for sport, you normally use sneakers and things like that. You got dark, look at that. So I put dark blue, being more specific, not just blue. You got dark blue. The opposite of dark blue is light blue. Okay. Um, so you got blue, red shoes. <laughs> <sighs> nope, I'm not from Australia. Everyone knows where I'm from. Um, yeah, so hoodie. Oh, here we go. Very good. Catherine Mansfield is from New Zealand. There are lots of famous people from New Zealand. For example, um, I don't count. I'm not famous. <laughs> but yeah, Catherine Mansfield. She's a famous scientist. No, she's not. She's a writer. I know those things. Take away, Diddy. Ah. He, he's always watching our live streams. He just lurks in the background. <laughs> okay, what else we got there? Um, the other scarf. Oh, look at that. You did a, an exchange program in the North Shore in Auckland. Great. Was that like Rangitoto College or something like that? Wearing a pair of red shoes. Sneakers. <laughs> Very good. Sneakers is a kind of chocolate. You're thinking of Snickers that you eat. And sneakers, Snickers, sneakers, okay? There's a little bit of a difference in the vowel sound there, just so you know. Are you in? Okay, you're from Albany. Um, okay, are you ready for the next one? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Oh, we have some new, we have some new ones. Albany Senior High School. Interesting. Oops. Try and hide that. And it says here, uh, Sumon says, is it okay to say muffler instead of scarf? I have never, ever used muffler in my life. A muffler. I don't think I've known anyone that's used it. Yeah, I know. Kat. She's for famous from 1888. I know. We do have some some famous people here in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, yes, number one. What is number one? An elegant crown, not just a crown. It's an elegant crown. And she has an M&Ms. I oh, know those are not M&Ms. They're probably jewels or emeralds and sapphires or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so she's wearing a crown. That's number one. And what about number two? What do you call those things there that are hanging from her? Airs and it's not like earwax. <laughs> no, it's not earwax. It is something else. It is. It's. It's her. She's got hair coming out of her ears. <laughs> no, this is serious. She doesn't have hair coming out of ears that I can that I can see. She's regal. She gets someone to cut the hair from her ears. She doesn't. Queens don't have. <laughs> get someone to cut them for her. Those things that hang. Oh, yes. We have your, your earrings. Yep. Oh, I like this one from Moriana. A pair of silver earrings. That was a very specific. They're not plastic. Definitely not plastic. <laughs> but so they're probably silver earrings. It is very likely that they are silver earrings. A diamond crown could be, but they're different jewels. So I think like sapphires and rubies and emeralds. Uh, so number two, so I, I love this description that you gave, Oriana. A pair of silver earrings. It's just like oh, brilliant. And what about you've got jewelry? Okay, jewelry. And uh, there are two different ways that you can spell jewelry. I always get them mixed up myself. Um, yeah, jewelry is generic necklace and earrings and rings and everything. And a crown's not really jewelry. Jewelry refers to your earrings, rings, bracelets, necklaces. Oh, I just said number three. Sorry. <laughs> what is number three? Let's see. Number three. Here we go. She's wearing a crown, earrings. Two hours, necklace, and five. Oh, yeah, number five. I added that one because it's not very, it's not very easy, that one. Um, who's got number five? A silver necklace. Oh, look at this one. Yolet, brilliant. 
light blue gloves, not just blue gloves, light blue gloves. Brilliant. Number five, who's got number five? Everyone, yeah, people know what number six is, but what is number five? It's not a red chain. What is number five? Number four? Ah, number four is, yeah, um, as Yolit mentioned, yeah, light blue gloves. But what is number five? <gasps> ah, look at this. A sash. That's, when it goes, we have that type of, like, when I, when I won Mr. Universe, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they gave me, a, or was it Miss Universe? I oh, know they gave me some sash. Was it Stupid Person of the Year 2022? Anyway, I won it. It's mine. I, I deserved it. You have a blue sash. It's like a ribbon type thing. And it says, Mr. Universe, Miss Universe. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but no, I can't. Um, you can say anything. <laughs> yes, that, that is a sash. And she has a blue sash. Yes, it reminds me of Queen Elizabeth II. Probably like a younger version, though. <laughs> um, ooh, this is interesting. A yellow frock. You don't need when, a lemon color. Okay, I see it. A lemon colored frock. It could be. A golden dress, maybe. Golden, yeah. If it's a queen, it'll be like made of gold or something like that. Um, what else we got there? I, I would just say a yellow dress. Yeah, I'd guess the same thing. There's probably some sophisticated, sophisticated <laughs> name for it, but yeah, she's wearing a pair of earrings. Also, yep, perfect. Yeah, so it was a Miss Universe of my house. <laughs> I'm Mr. Universe of my house. No, not even that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, are you watching from Morocco? Good. That's great. Okay, so let's go move it and see the different things. So she has a crown, silver earrings, or just earrings, a blue sash. That is how you say it or spell it. A necklace. We didn't talk much about necklace. Yeah, it's a necklace. Light blue gloves the perfect answer and a yellow dress okay next one is this one here the clown is wearing what is the clown wearing while i'm waiting for everyone to put their answers there remember we're also on tiktok now okay we're also on tiktok you can just go follow it there. Um, yeah, just like the typical vid um, vertical videos and some other more interesting things too, just so that you know. Okay, so looking at waiting for the comments for everyone. How do you say baby blue? Baby blue? Uh, just blue. Okay, number one. The clown is wearing a green hat. Yeah, it's like a green hat, maybe a dark green hat. Could be. It's a green hat. It might be a little difficult for you to, to see at the moment, but yes. What else is there? <laughs> Don't worry, Luis. Uh, ooh. How about this one? Number two. Is it a... Oops, wrong one. Um, a violet jacket? Ooh. What's another one? Another color. Ooh. A purple suit, but his... A suit is the top part and the lower part. So only the top part is purple. So if it's only the top part, it's not a suit. It'll be something else. you have got it also correct. A dark green hat. Perfect. Here it is. A purple jacket. Or a purple coat. What's the difference between a jacket and a coat? A jacket normally goes to the waist, to where your pants or skirt begins. But a coat is longer, and sometimes a coat goes down to your knees. Okay. 
He also, so number two is a purple, so I would say a purple jalic, uh, jalic. <laughs> a purple jacket, as Yolit says. Three, what is number three? What is number three? Yes, he's wearing big yellow shoes, not just yellow shoes, big yellow shoes. And that's good. I like the word order that you gave, okay? You have the size, big, small, medium size, and then the color, big yellow shoes, small red shoes, okay? So that's great. The, I actually have a lesson about the, the uh, adjective word order if you want to go into more detail about it. Zip, so he's wearing yellow shoes. Uh, what about number four? Oops, my number four <laughs> isn't in the correct position. Whatever. What about number four? I can see someone. Yep. We've got white gloves. He's wearing white gloves. If you want to do the complete sentence. Someone else, white gloves. Brilliant. What else we got there? What about number five? Number five. What else we got there? What do you have for number five? Ah, this one here. The clown is wearing a dark green cap. A cap is when it comes, you have that, it's like you put on your head and you have that front part, like a baseball. That's a cap, like that, okay? But a hat is when it goes all around normally. Okay, but the cap when you have that part sticking out like a duck. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> so that's a cap. Okay. He's wearing a red tie. Yeah, it's like a red, dark red tie. And it's checkered also, which means like little, what do you call them? Squares or something like that. A red tie. I'd say a dark red tie, maybe. A red tie? Yeah, I'd say a dark red tie, something along those lines. So that is number five. And what is coming out of his, his sleeve? Okay, this part of your shirt here is called a sleeve. Okay, you have two sleeves, one here and one here. In a clown, they sometimes pull something out, or a magician, they sometimes pull something out of their sleeves. And what do they pull out? In this case, he has, it's a funny clown. Yeah, it's a funny clown, this one. Yeah, so that's a sleeve. Thank you for writing that one. So it's a sleeve. But what is he pulling out from his sleeve? He's got like a yellow one, a red one, and a blue one. Does anyone know the name of that? Clown's hands. Hey, Jorge, great to see you. <laughs> no, those are the clown's hands. He never goes into the sun <laughs> with really pale skin. Great to see you, Jorge. Exactly. And oh, while we're here, um, I want to go, oops, go on to this one here, banners. Um, Oh, I'm trying to find something here. Ah, just for the for the, the YouTube channel members, check the community section of our for our private live stream. Okay, if you're a channel member on YouTube, remember, go to the community section and you'll see uh, I, I left a message about doing a live, just all of us, and we can appear on screen and chat and everything like that. Okay, just so you know. Okay, going back to the comments. Deep balloons? Deflated balloons, maybe. Yeah. They're actually called handkerchiefs. Okay. They're like handkerchiefs that you use to blow your nose and everything like that. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Ah, oh, here it is. A green hat, a dark green hat, I would say. A purple jacket, yellow shoes, and a red tie and white gloves. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. What about this person here? What is he wearing? What is he wearing?
What is he wearing? Waiting for the comments. What is he wearing? And there's a terrible joke there. Why are all Superman costumes tight? Because they're all size S. <laughs> terrible jokes. These are dad jokes. Okay, so number one. What is number one? Ooh, good one. It's not just any hat, it's a cowboy hat. I like that one. And what color is it? You can say a brown cowboy hat. And why do we put it in that order? Because we have the purpose of something like dress, wedding dress. The purpose of the dress is for the wedding. That is together, okay? For example, this one here. A brown cowboy hat. What is the purpose of the hat? It's for cowboys because that's what they wear. And before that, you have the, the, the color, a brown cowboy hat. You don't say cowboy brown hat. The word order is different, okay? So it's a brown cowboy hat, a white wedding dress. What is the dress for? It's for weddings. What color is it? White. So that is the order. So the color, the, what do you call it? The, the type of clothing and then the name of the, the clothing. Exactly. Okay, perfect. So what about number... <laughs> What about number number two? Saludos, <laughs> Did you see that comment? Number two. Hello to Hector also. Number two. What do we got? Yellow folded sleeves. Ah. Yellow folded sleeves, I guess, maybe. It's like yeah, his sleeves are folded. That's very good. And what do we... It's like a shirt, basically. He's wearing a shirt. But they are folded sleeves. You fold... Like, I've folded my, my sleeves up, too. I didn't fold them. I just pushed them up like that. Yeah, so that's, that's good. Great vocabulary. Um, oh, so, yeah. So, it is a yellow... Where is it? So, it is a yellow shirt. Yep. It's a yellow shirt. And yeah, it's a yellow shirt, and he has his sleeves pulled up. He's wearing, here it is, a jacket. Ooh, that's number five. So, yeah, where is it? Got it. So, yeah, it is a yellow T-shirt with something. Ah. But so, yeah, so number five is something a little different. She says hello. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that? Um, yeah, so maybe a jacket, something else. So number five is not exactly a jacket. How would you say what number five is? So he does have a yellow, no, it's not a t-shirt, it's a shirt, because t-shirt does not have long sleeves and it has a round neck. So yeah, it is a it is a yellow shirt. Um, let's go to number three. Oh, look at this one. This is a great one. A pair of brown leather boots. If you give answers that are complete like this, I'm like, ah, oh, yes. It's not just boots. These are leather boots. That's the how what they're made of. They could be leather boots. They could be plastic boots. Uncomfortable. Wooden boots. <laughs> Oh, no, they don't. I was thinking of clogs and like in, in the Netherlands, they have that type of thing. Brown leather boots, the order, what it's made of. For example, you're going to have a white silk dress. The dress, what is it made of? Silk. What color is it? White. A white silk dress. Brown leather boots. So the word order, if you're not sure about the word order of adjectives, for example, before before clothing go check the video i'll put it in the description eventually okay oh here goes here goes so we have this one here we have green vests exactly so one way is 
to say green vest. There's another way to say it also. Because vest is in, I think that's in American English, but in British English, there's something else. What do they use? And Jorge says, yes, <laughs> the spurs are missing there. They are spurs. Spurs, you have the boots, and at the back of the boots, you have this bit of metal thing. And it's to do cruel things like hurting the horses to make them move faster. But yes, so that metal circle thingy at the back, at the back of the boots, like in Chile, you have the huesos. And they have spurs also. Um, you say vest is French. It's also English too. A tank top. You've got blue jeans. Oh, so number five is the yellow, was it the green vest? And also we have the, the blue jeans, number six. What is number four? No one, the metal, silver metal spur. Yeah, if it's made of set silver, cost a lot. They're usually made of metal or God knows what. <gasps> number five, another way is waistcoat with a T at the end. Ah, oh, yay, Lionel, here it is. An orange scarf. Okay, it's an orange scarf. It isn't trousers you mentioned. I don't know. I'm not too sure if they're. I think they're pretty sure. Like the cowboys wear wear blue jeans more than anything. And something else that uh, uh, Wagnerak mentioned: a black belt. It looks. Yeah, it could be black. Could be brown. What do you call that silver thing at the front that you use to open the belt and you tighten it? That's called a buckle, okay? It is a buckle. It could be a folded, orange folded handkerchief or a folded old uh, uh, orange handkerchief. Yeah. What about his pipe? He doesn't have a pipe. He has a piece of straw hanging from his mouth. Yeah, it's a yellow, that's a yellow shirt because the other one was the vest. So let's go have a look at the answer. Here it is. So we can say he's wearing a brown hat, an orange scarf, a green waistcoat, or a green vest. I should have put the, the, the flags there, but anyway. Blue jeans, brown boots, or brown leather boots. That was better than my response. And a yellow shirt. Okay, what else we got there? Let's have a look. So here's a question for you. What are you wearing right now? Write the complete answer. What are you wearing right now? And I'll go through your answers. So write your answers in the comments. If you're on Twitter, you have to come onto YouTube and, and put it there. What are you wearing right now? This is a great question from Jorge. How can you tell the difference between vest and best? Now, sometimes with Spanish speakers, there's a difficulty with the B and the V. Now, the B for banana, your lips are inside your mouth a bit more. Look, B. I don't want to make too much sounds. B. Look at my, my, my lips. B, B, and it's like an explosive sound for the B for banana. But if I have V for vegan, <laughs> I'm trying to think of it. a word begins with V, vegan. V, like this, is a, think of vibration. You have your teeth, <laughs> you have your teeth on the top of your lip, vest, V, and it makes more of a vibration sound. Vest vibration. Teeth on top of your lower lip. Vest vibration. And the other one, best. Vest best. Okay, so great question. So there's a little bit of difference in the pronunciation there. And let's move that one. Okay, here we go. I am wearing black and white pajamas. Remember the air. Pajamas is always plural with an S at the end. I'm wearing black and white pajamas. Are they striped? Or is it like with white and black spots? Or is the top part black and the lower part white? How is that? 
and u an arabic dishtasha he is wearing small patches maybe ah like this one v for vendetta v for ven there it is for vendetta that's it so how would you okay going back to here an arabic dishtasha could you ex describe that for me please how would you describe it because i've never seen or i haven't heard of it because we don't have that word in english so how would you describe that for me i'm wearing a black shirt nothing else no pants no nothing else just black shirt <laughs> go into more detail people because i'm a terrible teacher and i'll think crazy things i'm wearing gray pants okay and what are you wearing in the top part what are you wearing in the top part oh this is good i am wearing a blouse i'm wearing a blouse and baggy jeans baggy means they're very loose they're very loose i i like to wear baggy clothes in the house like i have baggy not the baggy just baggy um track pants or sweatpants at home and just relaxing just relaxing baggy clothes to relax yeah that's just the best thing i'm wearing a white inner shirt is it like under your shirt maybe and trousers it's like a big type of big gown gown with a no i'm just wearing short trousers short or trousers or short trousers <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have trousers and they can also be short but they're not shorts that does exist <laughs> how about this one here i'm wearing a prefer preferred a preferred prefer blank tank top and black shorts remember the s or is it like, does it have holes in it i'm wearing a black tank top with holes maybe is that what it is i'm wearing pajamas yay it's one o'clock in the afternoon here in New Zealand. I'm wearing pajamas too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just I just woke up for the live stream. A long sleeved shirt with a D and long pants because it's cold here. Ah, I thought, yeah, it's cold there. It's cold here in New Zealand too at the moment. What else we got? I'm wearing a black dress. Nice. Are you wearing shoes too? Oh, socks and socks. Because a socket is where you plug your electronics in. Okay, you put your you have a, a television and you have the plug and you put it in the socket. That's what a socket is. So you have socks. And I'll put it here in the chat. Here it is. Sock. There it is in the chat. I'm wearing. I'm wearing short black shorts oh they're like short shorts <laughs> a short i'm wearing short black shorts and a long orange t-shirt remember the article with that one someone else is wearing pajamas okay how many people are wearing pajamas today i mean in 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 europe it's very late in in south america central america and it's quite late so that's fine if you want to wear pajamas all day, do it. <laughs> um, oh, look at this one. I'm wearing a black hoodie. Good. A dark blue shorts. Or oh, when you have shorts, you don't put the article before it because it's like shorts or scissors. They're considered plural. So a black hoodie, perfect because it's hoodie is singular. Dark blue shorts also. And black flip flops. Now, flip-flops, what is another way of saying flip-flops? There is another way. In New Zealand, we have a completely, we have a word, we don't use flip-flops. I'll put it in the, oh, I thought I'd done that one. That was socks. One second. Um, I forgot to send that one. Okay, I've got one of those really noisy gaming keyboards. So if you hear me typing, it's like, tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk. here it is. Jandals, it should appear there any moment now. 
jandals, okay? But that's only in New Zealand. If I talk to someone from the United States, so I'm wearing jandals, they're like, I don't know. But they'll be too embarrassed to ask me. They'll just nod like, yeah. What else we got there? Red t <gasps> Linda, you're wearing, a you're wearing a red tie or you're looking at one of the past ones? <laughs> okay, thank you, Maxula. Ooh, okay, there was something interesting there. And it's, <gasps> I've gone and lost it. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. An undershirt or some, okay, in Bangladesh. So it's a traditional clothing. Nice. I'm wearing, here's another one. I'm wearing a white cotton t-shirt. Good. You're also giving the type of t-shirt, the fabric, cotton. Can you have silk t-shirts? They probably exist, but I doubt it. You have a silk blouse, maybe. Yeah, silk blouse. That's totally perfect. Uh, and green trousers, green pants. Now, with this one here, I'm wearing black jeans. Jeans, plural. I'm wearing, and you don't have the article, ah, I'm wearing black jeans. So that's another one. <laughs> and my undies are tigered. Leopard skin undies. You know, <laughs> they're the best. <laughs> it's almost... Yes, I know. It's almost uh, 11 o'clock in Argentina. Now, I normally do this for one hour. So I always start, like, at the moment, Argentina time, 10 o'clock, finish at, at 11 o'clock. So we just do it for, uh, ah, here it is. Here's another one. Dastasha is an Arabian suit. It's the Saudis, Kuwaitis. And it's 7.53 in Central America. Ooh, okay, mid-teach. Let's have a look at this. I'm wearing shirt. Shirts, you got more than one or two? Swimming chunk trunks. Like in a V-neck t-shirt. Or maybe like shorts. I'm wearing shorts or swimming trunks. And a V-neck t-shirt. Medical glasses as well. You're wearing lentils. It's a type of food, just so you know. We've got sandals. Sandals, 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 jandals, jandals. Ah, here it is. <laughs> no socks, pants, or pajamas. Only a black shirt because I'm in bed in Brazil. Cool. Good to know. Jan yeah. So if you're coming to New Zealand, you'll use jandals. Black jandals without. <laughs> I'm wearing black. Okay. Who wears jandals or flip flops with socks? Yeah, so what jandals are in New Zealand is sandals here, exactly the same. But in, in English, sandals are different from jandals or flip-flops. Because flip-flops, you have the that part where you're, you're – okay, this is my foot, funny foot. <laughs> and you have that part where the, you put your toe in. That is a jandal, and there's no back part. But sandal has a part for the heel and a strap. Also, okay, so there is a difference between sandal and flip flops and jandals. I'll always teach some of the New Zealand words, you got to know these things. Okay, so, uh, okay, you can always watch these later too. Thank you, Julio, much appreciated. I am wearing uh, a pink sa. SA and white probably got caught and it's 11 o'clock. Oh, shirts, learn English, shirt and pants. Ah, here it is, Jorge. I'm wearing a I'm wearing gray sport pants or sweatpants or track pants. Or therefore, you just been doing sport, Jorge? Hmm, suspicious. Hmm. I'm wearing, you don't need the article a uh, before pants or trousers. A light blue t-shirt. And a green jacket, green jacket, or a green a green sweatshirt, because a jacket sometimes form. Or you ah no, green jacket. Maybe it's cold. Might be cold and chilly right now. So you're wearing a green jacket in the house. Totally possible. Okay. And just going through, looking through. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I know it's four o'clock, Larissa. I always appreciate that. Um, yes, I do have long hair under my arms, out my nose, my ears. Oh, this time, yeah, this hair is 
it's long. <laughs> okay, so just want to go quickly back to the beginning. Um, whoops, just about remove myself from here. Where is it? Going right here. Okay, so just want to check. So remember, uh, channel members, check the community section for the private live stream we're going to do. Remember, we're also on TikTok. Join us there. Say hello. I just put things up there. And everyone, also, thank you so much for joining me today. Join me next week, same day, same time, okay? And, of course, would like to thank today's sponsor, Terrible Golfer Socks. You'll never get a hole in one. Uh, you know, just kidding. <laughs> So thank you, and until next time, take care, stay safe, and as always, have an awesome day.